Good morning guys, Andre here and I'm at the auction right now as you can see it's about 20 probably 20 degrees out so it's pretty cold but I still dragged my butt out of the bed today at 5 30 in the morning and I got here to get some nice deals and it was a great day I bought about probably six cars today uh, but the main reason I'm so excited right now is because I got this this beast right here look at that that's a 2007 Porsche 911 Carrera 4S and this guy is just amazing as you can tell it doesn't look too bad it has has some damage here see on the rear bumper on the left side the quarter panel is a little damaged right here as you can see and then the door and the fender and the headlight is broke so the right side was prim primarily damaged but it's definitely nothing nothing bad and look inside it's beautiful the airbag is blown on the seat but that's not a big deal that will replace that so this car is absolutely absolutely gorgeous and for some reason I have like a, a soft spot for these cars I just love these cars and uh, I just had to buy it and actually I got it, it cost me with auction fees probably around like 17,000 but uh, cars like that if you know anything about them they they sell for around like 45 grand retail so I saved almost $30,000 <laughs> which is crazy obviously the car needs work it has some damage but uh, hopefully we'll get it fixed you know and obviously the parts are not cheap but I don't anticipate it's gonna cost me um, anything close to 30 grand to repair it um, but I'll let you guys know this is gonna be the, my project that I'm gonna be doing and I'm gonna keep you guys posted and let you know how it's going so hopefully it's gonna be fun and what helped me to buy this car so cheap is because um, there is no power so they, they said the car doesn't start the mileage is unknown which definitely helped but you know because the engines for these cars are like 10 15 thousand dollars used <laughs> so a lot of people got scared but I looked at the engine before I bought it and it doesn't, doesn't seem like there is any damage and the mileage is like around 34,000 miles I look at this oil change sticker inside so these are all little tricks that I use um, so yeah I'm really pumped up about this car I'll let you guys how, know how it goes talk to you soon take care the Porsche is finally here Time. Let's see if this bad boy starts. There's no power, so we're gonna hook up the booster. All right. Let's see. I hope this thing will start because if not, then we screwed.
I don't see anything here. I don't see any power so far. Oh, it looks like it's alive. All right, ready? It's not enough power. This Porsche gives me a lot of headaches at night. Looks like these parts are freaking mad expensive. So we called the guru, Mr. Steve, to tell us what's gonna happen. How much it's gonna be to fix this, this damage. I hope it's gonna be like 500 bucks. But by the smile on his face, I, I, I don't think it's gonna happen. So we gotta decide if it's worth fixing it or just put it back together and send it back to the auction. This is Mr. Milo's big belly. <laughs> so what do you think, Steve? How much? Can you fix this quarter panel? Uh, That's the main question, because I don't, it's a little, see over here, it's like twisted a little bit. It's fixable. Fixable? Yeah. Alright, so basically the bumper, quarter panel, side, fender, and the front bumper, right? The door. Well, yeah, the door. Can you fix the door? Yeah. Yeah? I think even the bumper can be fixed because it's not broken, it's just... Mm -hmm. This is it's glue from the... Spoiler. It's broken in the front, where the light goes. It's okay. You probably have a bubble gum. Bubble. <laughs> <laughs> a little wire and bubble gum. That's what they do in the south. Of them. Suspension, don't worry, Steve. We're gonna fix it. It's just we just took it apart. It turns out the spindle was broken. And the spindle is only $500. It's only, right? Man, I started looking at the, the fender is, five, is 600. Everything the, I think it's gonna be expensive. Nothing gonna be cheap on this car. That's crazy, man. You can't everything dealer? Yeah, dealer is the same price as used. That's the thing. Like used fender is 500 and the dealer is six. And like, you guys are crazy. I know, the, uh, call, we call a junkie or the second dealer. <laughs> I know, man. Especially on this car, I'm telling you. Nobody has the parts. The fender is in California. <laughs> so what do you think, Steve? How much? New bumper in the back. One, two, three, four, five panels. Plus you gotta fix the quarter, that's the main problem. Uh, 17? 1700? Alright. Alright, let me see what's up. Don't look too excited, Mr. Hennett. Yeah, that's 
One of the wheels is broken off. The steering rack is broken. The steering rack, something. Now I lift it up. Let's check this out. I'm so excited. We got this. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's let's make a new one. Guys, check this out. We got this. Side airbags for this Porsche straight from Germany in the box, so we're gonna open it right now. How cool is that? Very exciting. All right, let's see. From Germany with love. Wow, nice seat airbag. Our Porsche is coming together. So the Porsche project is coming along really well. As you can see, it still needs body work, but at least we put the suspension back together. So now it runs and drives fine. We still have some a little bit of exhaust noise, which we're about to fix. And after that, we're gonna send it to the body shop to get the body fixed. Also, we're replacing the airbags that were blown up in the seat and the door so hopefully very soon the beast is going to be alive again and it's going to be driving running and driving perfectly all right wow look at these tires the size of these tires guys wow this is crazy gonna put two brand new tires so this porsche is going to be amazing can't wait for it to be ready. Check this out guys. Our beast is in the shop. Almost almost ready. Look at that. I know it looks kind of scary right now, but Mr. Victor is a magician. The bracket for the very nice. I'll be driving it in like a couple of days. Alright guys, a little update on the Porsche. Check this out. The thing is almost ready. The bumper is on, we're just waiting for a little bracket. A big bracket that's coming from, from Germany. It takes forever to get. So this beast is gonna be ready very soon guys. Can't wait. This is the magic man fixing it. Look at this, guys. Check this out. It's painted finally. Finally! Still not ready, but it's getting there. Can't wait to drive this, this beast. Oh, we have some issues with parts because one freaking bracket, the bumper bracket. Not get it anywhere, even at the dealer. It's back ordered. I've been waiting for two months. Still, this, this plastic bracket right here. See, this one is good on the left side, but the right one was broken. It holds the bumper. So, hopefully, soon. Look at this tire, I guess. This is sick. Our baby is finally ready for alignment. We'll be driving it in no time. Guys, you can't be I can't believe it, but finally this Porsche is ready. We've been waiting for a few months and uh, look at this beauty. I can't believe how nice it turned out. Check this out. So, we're gonna 
drive it on the highway and see how it feels and see what all the hype is about about these cars. Hopefully it's going to live up to our expectations. They're very high. Thank <laughs> you.